Hello, Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. We're looking at some of the new features in version 14 of Photoshop Elements. Now, under the Enhance menu, you'll find a lot of cool features that have been with the program for a number of years and a couple of new ones. You might notice that there's an auto haze removal, an auto shake reduction, and of course a manual haze removal and a manual shake reduction. Haze reduction can be a very important and powerful tool, especially if you're like me and you like to take pictures of scenery. Here we have, for instance, a shot that I took out of the window of an airplane as we were landing in Florida. It's a rainy, hazy day, and I'm not getting a lot of clarity in my pictures. Now, like I said, we could go to Enhance, Auto haze removal, and it would probably do a pretty good job. I'm going to go down to the manual haze removal so that we have a little more control. Select haze removal. Look at that. That is on the basic default settings. Here is before, here is after. Haze removal does a great job of removing the haze. Now, if we want to increase or decrease, of course, we can raise and lower the haze reduction or the sensitivity. But in this particular case, the default settings look pretty good. Look how nicely cleared up that picture is before and after. So haze reduction, a very, very effective tool. Let's go ahead and clear out of this. There is another new enhancement or photo enhancement tool here in Photoshop Elements 14. If we go to Blurry Family here, this is a picture that was taken with a handheld camera. And as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little. As you can see, we got a little bit of camera shake. This is the old days when you needed to expose film a little bit longer. And if you so much as breathed when you took the picture, you get some blur. So we're going to go to Enhance. And again, we have an automatic shake reduction tool. We're going down to the basic shake reduction tool itself, the manual shake reduction. Here's the tool. Now with it, we can select the area that we would like to focus. In other words, if most of the picture is crystal clear and we know that there's a little shake or a little movement in one area, we can place this focus window over the area that we want the uh, refocus or the shake reduction focused on. In this case, uh, focusing on the family is just fine if we had, for instance, a clock on the wall, if we had somebody running in the background, we could have focused on them. Here's our before, a little bit blurry. Here's our after. Now that is a little over sharpened to me. So I'm going to reduce the sensitivity just a bit by moving the slider down here in the lower left corner. This looks a little more natural. We'll click OK. And look at this as I zoom in on the picture. You know, again, if you zoom in too far, you're, of course, going to see the results of that uh, shake reduction, which is that you get a little globbiness there in the pixels. But looking at it at 100%, that looks pretty good. Here's the before. And here is the after. Very successful. Now, if you want to know more about the wonderful tools here in Photoshop Elements 14, we got a number of great tutorials here, basic training, intermediate training, and advanced training here at moviepix.com. Lots of great tutorials. And if you want to know everything about every one of these tools and how to use them, I hope you'll check out our books, the moviepix.com guides to Premiere Elements and the moviepix.com guides to Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. They're available at amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me for this look at version 14. Hope to see you again soon.